and Martinez's teammate, Derek Ortiz, comes to the mat as the number one seed at 145 pounds. And he will be taking on number two seed Tyler Ober, Discovery Canyon. Ortiz, senior with a 22 and 5 record. He's ranked at number six in Class 5A. He finished third in states last year, sixth the year before, qualified the year before that. He won the Metro Tournament at 138 pounds last year. With the second place finish the year before. He likes playing football, playing with friends, and playing Xbox. He most admires Dio, Deion Sanders, but his favorite wrestler, Gio Martinez. Here, number two seed, Tyler Oberg, Discovery Canyon is a junior with a 25 and two record, ranked number two in class 4A. He is a state qualifier, finished fourth at this tournament a year ago. Tyler has hobbies of playing the guitar and ukulele. He has a 4.53 GPA and a National Honor Society member. Must be taking some AP classes. And his favorite wrestler is Kyle Day. Ortiz, close to the takedown. There it is, two on the double leg. And Ortiz ran that double leg right off the mat, landed hard on the basketball court. Both wrestlers look okay. Looks like someone's bleeding. That'll be over. Wrestling fans, the 50 seconds left, 2-0 lead for Ortiz. Ortiz has that right flanker in. He's got the figure four locked up on the back side, looking to power half. Go out of bounds, fresh start, 25 seconds. Let's see if Oberg can get something happening here. Close to getting the escape here, does get the escape. Five seconds left on the clock. Oberg could be a big momentum swing here. Oberg will take down, start the second period. Half hard. He's got the flanker in left side. Power half coming. Trying to crank that over. So far, strong defense by Oberg. And potentially dangerous.
He's really riding that half tight waist hard. This time, Oberg catches the flanker on its way in, trying to circle out, and he gets the reverse. Oberg will take the 3 to 2 lead with about a minute left in the second period. Coming back to the center, 45 seconds on the clock. Nice, grand big duel, Peterson by Ortiz. It's not getting near fall. He did get that reversal. Oberg comes out back on top. We'll get the reverse. He'll regain the lead five to four. Nice little scramble there. We have 20 seconds left. Let's see if Ortiz can score here, just like Oberg did at the end of the first period. Ortiz sits out, has hand control. Let's go of it. Tries to hop over, nothing. And that'll be the end of the second period. Five to four score. Ortiz has choice, and he takes bottom. Both his coaches signal neutral, so Ortiz makes this decision on his own to go down. We have a stall call on Ortiz. Oberg working the wrist. No call stalemate. Looked like Oberg was trying to dig a chicken wing on the far side. Ortiz sits out. No motion after that. Goes back to his belly. He's basing up now, trying to hop over. Oberg, too good of hip position. Oberg's working that arm bar on the right side. He's a minute away from the championship. a little too much. And there's that Grammy to the Peterson again. This time Oberg stops it. He's prepared for that one. Ortiz tripods up. Oberg drops to the lake. We're in an over under here. Wizard hip lock position. They're out of bounds. Ortiz will have to go back down. 22 seconds on the clock. Obard rides out to win. 22 seconds. Let's see if Ortiz can get one and send this thing to overtime. And he's close. Tries to get the reverse. Nothing yet. Ortiz still down. 11 seconds on the clock. Here comes the Pine Creek coach arguing for one. Ortiz goes back down. He's got 11 seconds to make something happen here. 
Crowd's getting a little intense now. Closest match we've had of the night. Granby attempt there by Ortiz. He has two. Insane Granby reversal. Two seconds on the clock. One second on the clock. Ortiz regains the lead. Six to five. Wild finish in this one. World champion Derek Ortiz out of Pine Creek takes it at the last second over Tyler Oberg, Discovery Canyons. 